pray that today Holy Spirit must visit you in the name of Jesus. If you have been praying to receive the grace of God, may you receive it in the name of Jesus. I can hear you. Your amen is very small. Receive the grace of God in Jesus' mighty name. You are ready to receive the grace of God? Huh? Let me see your hands if you are ready to receive the grace of God. Today I pray that Jesus must visit you. I say Jesus must visit you. The angels of our Father must visit you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. How many of you are ready for a visitation? Let, let, let me see you waving your hands. There's a great visitation tonight, tonight, tonight. I say tonight. Remember this is the week of what? Huh? This is a week of what? I can't hear you. It's a week of what? Who resurrected? Huh? Who resurrected? Jesus. And now you, you are here, you believe in him, isn't it? I want him to visit you tonight. Your amen is very small. And let me tell you this, if Jesus comes to you, whatever that is in your house, it must start to shake. If it must start to shake. If there are plates in your kitchen, you will hear, everything must move, everything must move. That's Jesus I know. Don't think when he comes, everything will become. Even the bed that you are sitting on, you, you will feel like it's going up like this. If Jesus visits you, there must be a sign. I don't know if you hear what I'm trying to say. I say if Jesus visits you, there must be a sign somewhere. There, there must be a sign. Oh, we're, we're talking about a God who's powerful. Are you hearing me? Huh? You are ready for visitation? Huh? How many of you are ready for it? Let me see your hand. You are ready here for a visitation. Huh? <laughs> you know, many of you, if, if you see an angel, you are going to run away. You won't run away? Huh? You won't? Can't need it. I am doubting you. I'm doubting you. I'm really doubting you. Let me ask people here. If God visits you, you're not going to run away? No. Mama, you're not going to run away? No, I won't. Let me ask you. No. Let me ask you. No. Huh? Are you sure? Uh, me, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Mama, let me ask you. <coughs> no. <laughs> let me ask you. <laughs> let me ask you. No. Oh! No. Let me ask you. Are you sure? No. No. You are saying no. Let me ask you. Mama, let me ask you. Look at me. Let me hear you. No. You are saying no. 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 You are saying no. 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 You are not afraid. No. 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 You are not afraid. No. You are not afraid. Let me hear you. No. Let me hear you. No. 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 Yes. No. No. I love you when you say no. 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 I've asked you. I've asked many of you. Many of you, you don't know. You really don't know. I understand why when you say no. You really don't know what will happen. You know, yeah, let me say this thing to you before I pray for you. When you are receiving a visitation, remember what the angel said when the angel saw Mary. The, if the angel doesn't say to you, don't be afraid, 
there's no way you can be afraid. That's the first thing. When the angel appeared like this, it says to Mary, don't be afraid. Because I don't know why I'm seeing many of you here that angels will start to visit you. I don't know why. Many of you, even the most anointed people, if the presence of God comes, you'll see them kneeling down. You have to. You have to. Remember one thing. I want to pray for you now. If in heaven we have got creatures and angels that are always worshipping God every single minute, what about when he comes to you? You have never seen him. Huh? What about the day he decides to come to you? If you are not wearing clothes, if the angel does not say, don't be afraid, you will get out of your house. You see, you see many of you when you sleep, you don't wear clothes. <laughs> you will be surprised you are in the other room. And the first thing they will notice is, say, I can't wear now, you are not wearing clothes. You say, hey, there's something there. You'll forget. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to pray for you now. Amen. My prayer is that when that visitation comes to you, you must never be afraid. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because if you are receiving a visitation from God, it means there's a message that you're going to be given. Amen. Angels, they don't just visit. They visit to bring a message to you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So tonight and this whole week you must be ready. Amen. I'm saying be ready. Amen. Holy Spirit, touch the people that you'll visit here. Touch! Touch those you want to visit. Everywhere in this house, touch! Those you want to visit now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said, those who want to visit, touch them now. Now, 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 now. Now in the name of Jesus. Any, anyone who's carrying an assignment of God, before God can use you, let me tell you this. Anyone who's carrying an assignment of God, before God can use you, he must come to you first. Anyone, any pastor, if there's a calling upon your life, before you are used, there must be a visitation. I'm telling you, everyone, just read the Bible, all of them, they received a visitation from God before anything else. Now, let me say this. Is if many of you that are here, there's something that God wants to do with your life, I pray that this, is, this must be your week. Amen. This must be your week to receive a visitation from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your amen is very small. Amen. I say your amen is very small. Amen.